Um, yeah. Will there ever be another slaughterhouse? Um, that's a possibility. That's a possibility because I mean we never broke up. We never broke up. You know what I mean? You always remain like, friends. You yeah. always may remain friends. Mm -hmm. And so you saying, hey, if anybody want to work, let's just go work, huh? And that's that's kind of how I feel. I feel like we should. The first thing we should do is always make sure that we leave open the possibility of us coming together and doing work together, because that's when we, you know, that's when we at our best. It's just that at the very beginning, there never was a there never was a plan for all of us to be in a group forever. You know, what I mean, all of us had like solo um, goals that we wanted to reach. All of us had different visions for ourselves as solo artists prior to, to getting in a group with each other. We didn't realize that it was going to go so far. You know, what I mean, so we, we, we spent probably like eight years straight with each other. You know what I mean? Like we gave each other like eight years of our lives, but we never fell out. We never broke up or nothing like that. We had tons of disagreements, but I think that's just part of being in the group, you know? So, yeah, because um, like who says you, you all had your solo uh, careers and who says, all right, Crooked Eye, uh, Joe Butt, like, like who puts this group together? Who says, yo, y'all should be slaughterhouse? Um... Damn, how did that go? Joe reached out to me to get on a song, <clears throat> to get on a song with everybody on it. Um, I remember because I was my daughter was being born that same day. And um, I ain't like Joe back then. I ain't like that nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when he reached out to me, I started not to do it. I started not to do it. Then my manager was like, nah, man, you gotta. I was anti-industry back then. He was like, yo, man, you got you to gotta come off your island for a minute. You know what I mean? Like, just go ahead and give it a shot. So I said, all right. So I went, I left the hospital and I went and laid the verse and I sent it back to him. And when he put the song out, the internet loved it so much, I guess just because it was like a bunch of underground dudes who was just all about just lyrical supremacy. You know what I'm saying? Like, we wasn't really into nothing else but that. And I think um, at that time, it was just a time for that, you know, and um, the people online started champ championing it so much that we just decided to just do more stuff together. And, you know, one song led to another song led to another song. And Joe started whipping his camera out. He started recording it, you know, like and then people start really loving the way that we interacted with each other. And you know everything was just kind of falling in place, and I'm I'm like one of those I'm I'm one of those universe hippie guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like to chase things, I don't like to force things. If things seem like that they're falling into place, you know I go with it, I go with it, you know what I mean? So that's basically what it was. Next thing you know, I looked up, we're doing Rock the Bells, you wow, know, and then um, it was it was it was just a natural thing. It just it mm -hmm. just grew authentically. Um, what happens when when uh? Joe Button takes shots at Eminem. Like I've, I've always wondered, like when he, you know, I've heard him like criticize Eminem or whatever. Like, like, how do you feel about that? Being that he's in the group and that's your man. Like, do you ever feel a way about that? Or you just say that's Joe being Joe. Well, most of the time I say that's Joe. He's just Joe. But that particular time, I couldn't help but be offended. You know, and it was it was just. It was when Joe was making his transition into journalism, you know, and I could I could tell as his friend that he was still trying to find his footing in journalism. But that wasn't enough for me to just let it go. You know what I mean? So me and Joe have disagreed. We've had issues plenty of times. This was that was just one of those times that me and him just needed to speak. We just needed to talk about it. You know what I mean? So um, we sat on the phone. We talked. We yelled. We cursed. You know, like we, you know, we disagreed, we agreed. And then finally the conversation, this conversation ended with him apologizing to me and telling me that he loved me. And I accepted his apology and I told him that I loved him too. 